she was killed. And uh, they the tried top to cover six girls it up. Really look great, but you seem to have that perfect aesthetic. I wasn't into hip hop or even soul music. There are definitely people that ha need a little Viagra. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> Priest is actually, uh, you know how they in jail, they give you the one hour to walk around, uh, you know, uh, out of your cell. Uh, Lee, Lee's doing his one hour Dave, walk. Dave, I'm watching these ships and the ships are disappearing <laughs> over the horizon. I'm not sure if they're just dropping off the side of the earth or they're actually going around. I'm not, I'm trying to work it out. And why does the water only flow this way with the waves? If it's flat, would the waves go different directions? And if I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, you're in the Northern, I see the Southern Cross and you see the Northern Star Polaris. <laughs> Why wouldn't I see that if it's flat? Because, and I've got to look to the left, you've got to look to the right. If it's flat, should Lee. we all be looking in the same direction? Jimmy, where are you, Jimmy? Lee. I need help. Don't, the listen to me. Don't you know? You ever watch Star Trek? Star Wars? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a movie, right? They make a movie. You're watching yeah. a movie. That's it. And if the, if the Earth's spinning at how many thousand things, why do the clouds move slow? Look at it's this. It's not, not sure. spinning. Hey, Jimmy would say. Can you see? Spinning. Can you? Is as the sun going down where you are? The sun is is up. It's going down. Yes. Yeah, so hey, it's hey. If you walk out now and see the sun, you're looking at the same sun I'm looking at, but on different sides of the world. I don't know. Jimmy would say it's painted on the on the ceiling of the dome. It's not really the sun. Well, all I know is all I know is Dave. Look, I'm more set to go on. On the ship, I'm commander of the flight crew. I'm going up. I'm going up to put an end to this argument once and for all. Yeah, you, you like look like haircut? the uh, guys from Armageddon going up to the, uh, the the drill on the asteroid there from that movie. Yes, yes, and then we can sing. Um, I don't want to. What's that song by Aerosmith? At the end, we can all yeah. hold hands as as my father sits on the planet and blows it up to save the world. <laughs> now you know. You, it, I was kidding around in the beginning, but I really wasn't kidding because you, you don't you only have a certain amount of time per day you can leave your house, like and walk. Oh, uh, you can come out a bit now, but look, Dave, look, we got over here. Look, you're not, you're allowed to keep walking. See, I'm walking, Dave. This exercise, look. See, look, this is so you don't sit here because if you sit here, you'll get COVID. So they've got them all taped off. They got the water fountains taped down. off in my kid's school. So they can't. So they can't. Look at use this. Look at this. This is it. Look, look. Yeah. See that? Yep. Too bad the people watching. This is the why show, too bad our idiots watching the show don't know what 1.5 meters is. <laughs> Hell, health order. See, health orders last for 90 days. They can't make it law because of the constitution. So they just keep throwing out these health orders. But look at this day. Look, I'm going to break the law. Look. Oh, shit, I just got COVID there's the cops coming there. right behind you. Lee, 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 they're coming. All right. Keep walking. They won't get me. I'm, I'm going to space. They won't catch me. <laughs> I went for a walk this morning up to the obelisk, and I want to ask Jimmy about the obelisk because I'm sure he knows about them because he knows about the Egyptians and the big winged things that built the fucking pyramids that were 20 feet tall. Yeah. There's an obelisk. like they're, they're all over the world. You have one there in Washington. We have one here in Newcastle. Egypt has them. They're all over the world. So, Jimmy, are the obelisks like these antennas or antennae to the world or what? We need to ask that because people going in the water. Don't you know it's fucking cold? Where's they say your, don't um... swim in the morning. Where's your obelisk? Obelisk into the. Where are yours? Uh, in New, in Newcastle, up on the big hill. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you guys. Yeah, look at this. Look, look at this. Don't swim in the mornings at dusk or dawn because that's when sharks feed. I'm not going to feel sorry for you if you lose a leg. Now you guys do have a lot okay. of sharks over there in Australia because that's 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 where the great whites feed, right? With the seals. Yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing the good shirt again today, I, so people I, can I read I know my well. Shark Week. I watch my Shark Week. Yeah. Stop getting offended. <laughs> well, the beach that's just the beach that's just you can't see, but this is Newcastle Beach. That's the lighthouse. Right. On the other side of that lighthouse is Stockton Beach. And if you watch those shark things, that's the white, great white breeding ground. I thought that. About. Yeah, I thought that looked familiar. That's ex right. That's exactly where they feed. Right over there, where they they nail the all the seals. Yeah, yeah. There. And if these if these girls here have their period, we might see something pretty soon. Uh. <laughs> that's it. Keep swimming around. Mix it up in the water. That's it. How how shallow do those great whites come in? Pretty pretty close. I don't know. I don't know they come that close because it's always the surface. So I'm guessing the surface here right now on the surfboards are about 
50 metres out. So they come in about there. You know, the, the weird thing is they say that the surface in their, like, you know, their wetsuits on the boards absolutely like resemble a, a seal. You know, it's like, and it's not, you can't even blame the shark. They think it, they're actually seals because they look like seals. And I think that's racist because it's a great white eating something black. <laughs> Systemic racism in the ocean, right. Dave. Systemic Where's your mask? Racism. I see that woman just walked by you. She had a mask on. Good. She's not giving me COVID then. <laughs> this guy, now, as long as you're exercising, Dave, I've got to keep moving. I've got to okay. keep moving. Right. What are you doing, sir? I'm exercising. A, a lot of people have been asking me. They wanted to know what you thought about the um, the Melissa Bumstead arrest. You know that was, you know, they sent the package uh, over to uh, themselves in Florida. There, I, and I, I didn't, I didn't hear about it. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, Melissa Bumstead, no. who's the sister of Chris Bumstead and the husband, wife, I should say, of, of Ian Valier. I guess they were all staying in Florida. I guess maybe till it seems like I saw a, that. Yeah, yeah, I saw them staying at his house. They're staying at Chris's house in Florida. I guess allegedly they sent a package from Canada to um, to the U.S. It got opened in customs, and then there was a controlled delivery, and oh. uh, Melissa got arrested. I guess so, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, nothing terrible. like at least at least you've got a good wife to take the fall for you. She won't say nothing, darling. Just do the time. Don't say a word. Why didn't Fouad talk about this on his show? This is breaking news. <laughs> he might have. I don't know. I don't watch the show. Well, normally, normally she's in the background. I, I sometimes watch. Well, she's I like a figure pro. She's there. a figure pro. She competes. I don't think yeah. she's doing the Olympia yeah. this year, but she competes. Yeah, she's good. I'm only halfway through. Like yesterday's show, it is. Maybe I won't see her in the background. Imagine if they were recording at the same time. The knock came to the door. Oof. Yeah, that would that would be a. What do you, what, be now, a... Now, now, what do you think was in that package? Do you think? Mr. G sent him some cookies or what? Oh, what I, I mean, they have a full inventory list. It was it was quite extensive that was in there. I guess it, I guess it was the uh, the pre contest stack, you know, prior to the last. The it was the Arnold and Olympia prep supplements. <laughs> you know, oh, it, no. it, now it, if it, Ian, it Ian's looking good, but if something happens to Ian and he doesn't come in shape, yeah. this could be a good out. Yeah. I wasn't in shape. I, because I, look, of I my feel you know what, I feel bad for them because we all know that their body bulls need to do what they need to do, yeah. but. At the same time, it was probably was not the smartest thing to do, shipping something internationally. Because, you know, anytime people don't realize this, anytime you ship out of the country uh, to another country, it goes through customs. And so customs can oh, yeah. open the stuff up. Well, yeah. here, here in Australia, what happens if you get drugs from overseas and they come here, you get like a warning saying a seizure type letter. Right. And if you get another one, then they come get you. The first one, you just get the warning. So... Here you right. go. Look at this beautiful sun. Look at this yep. beautiful thing. Try, to send, oh, the, try just, to send the corn snake to Australia, though. You, they'll lock you up for 20 years. Just take this in. Just look at this. It's beautiful. Oh. You guys Isn't don't like any day? fruit, vegetables, uh, dairy products, or, or live animals. That, that, don't you, that Australia goes insane if you send any of that stuff. We only like convicts, Dave. You can send convicts here, and that's fine. But <laughs> that's, that is a shame, though, she got arrested. Was it? She wasn't getting ready for anything, was she? She was looking good, though, because I saw a video training with um, Ian. She was actually looking in good yeah. shape, whether she's just dieting with him. Or she's got the Bumstead genetics. She's really good. Yeah, I, I don't know what she was getting. I don't know if she was going to do something after the Olympia. Uh, she wasn't going to do the Olympia, that I don't believe so. But um, Maybe maybe just getting in shape to do some. But what, what gets me, so here we have Chris and Ian and them in America. Surely they must have had a contact within the United States. That's to get what something. I can't understand. I don't know why they would risk it. You know, it just seems kind of weird, you know. Um, they like could have just said it was COVID medication. Yeah, <laughs> I think it said massage oil and vitamins on on the outside. <laughs> it was probably the vitamins that tipped them off too. They should have just wrote like it was chocolate and fucking uh, you know peanut butter, you know, cups or something like that. Which is weird. Fine. Which is weird. It got caught because I know a lot of because here we get a lot of stuff into Australia. And sometimes stuff gets through because especially at the moment with COVID, everyone's doing online shopping and right. there's so much parcels going through to get caught. You've got to be fucking very unlucky. It's yeah. like, you know, just it's one of those things. Well, let me ask you this question, though, though. When you guys order, like if you order Amazon in Australia, does it get shipped within Australia or are you actually getting it from outside of Australia? Uh, Depends what you do because we have Amazon.au where they do have stuff here, but there's yeah. certain things you do have to get from overseas. Gotcha. But that reminds me, Dave. That reminds me. Four days ago, I was on Amazon, yeah, and I ordered a chicken and an egg. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> I think you used that joke on us already, didn't you? Well, I'm just using it again because you oh. mentioned Amazon. <laughs> I don't have any other Amazon jokes. Actually, I did. 
Speaking of Amazon, I had to do a video yesterday for an Amazon commercial where I had to dress up like a rocker. It's yeah. like a casting thing. So, you know, they just say, Lee, Lee, can you do this and send it to them? Right. Yeah, it seems like a pretty funny ad. So I had to get dressed up like a rocker. Who'd you dress I don't up know like? If I get... oh, just like black jeans and studs on it. And I ripped the black T-shirt I had and this sort of thing. So if I got the part, it pays for like four hours work, $8,000 for a commercial. Oh, wow. Did you put a wig on? That's not. No, nah, just me. Actually, look what happened to my hair. Look, my friend, my friend here, Nick. See, this is Nick who I train with. Yeah. Nick. Hey, Nick. Is, He's that... got... is this a coffee? Thanks. I, I just rubbed me COVID. You guys oh, are too close passed. together. It's six feet, please. Six feet. Six oh, feet. That's okay. Yeah, get six feet back. Oh, COVID. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call him. Tyler, call up and report him, please. He lent me his clippers, right? Right, the, and the clippers, you said, here, Lee, borrow my clippers because the barbers have been shut for months. Yeah. I undo the clippers, right? You know, the oil that cleans them has leaked everywhere. So it's <laughs> slippery as fuck. I try and clean it. So as I'm buzzing my hair, it goes slip, and I take like a big chunk out the top. You look, I was going to so say, you look hair. like my son now. My son did that to his hair the other day, except he's five. So I don't know if it looked like I got the mange or, oh, my um, thing came back benign, but you wouldn't think so. It looks like I got cancer at the fucking moment. Ah, I, oh, so it was good? Okay, well, it's good with the cancer scare. It was good. Yeah, so those people that don't like me sucked in. I'm here a bit longer. <laughs> yeah, we thought you were gone. We were, we, you know, everyone was getting excited, but now you're going to be here with us for a little longer. Now, what, what do you put in your yeah. coffee? Are you a, bla a black and, yeah, uh, like or do you put cream in there? This is a skinny cappuccino with a sweetener. What kind of sweetener? What is it? Latte. It's a latte extra shot. When do I ever drink a latte yeah. extra shot? Hey, look like you're How long have you fucking known me for? And I, when have I ever not... Excuse oh, me, you're going to be farting when from the milk. When the fuck have I ever ordered... I, I'm lactose intolerant. I knew you were. That's yeah, why. it's got fucking lactose-free milk. As, oh, you're making that shit up. You didn't ask for lactose-free milk, you fucker. You're gonna, He's you're naming gonna, all these... You're going to shit your pants before ordered. you get back to your house. That's for sure. I've never ordered a fucking latte in my life. That's what faggots like you drink. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do you drink a latte while you're sucking cock at the same time? Ah, fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking lattes. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, his thing, right? This guy goes, he goes to the doctor and goes, doctor, doctor, I was given head and I swallowed a cock. And the doctor says, fuck off, that can't happen. He goes, I did, I was given head and a cock got stuck in my throat. The doctor goes, get out of here, it can't happen. He goes, it did. The doctor's like, shut up. He goes, it did, I was sucking cock. My boyfriend's cock got stuck in my throat. The doctor goes, prove it. He goes, ah. Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's better than Amazon. You're welcome. <laughs> we should just end the show on that yeah, one. Yeah, time. So. Oh. Hey, it's a beautiful day. The sun's coming up. I'm drinking a latte. I'm going to shit my. I got shit. I'm going to shit my pants. I got semen yeah. coming out my mouth. In yeah, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. I really wouldn't. It's very dangerous. Oh. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink it. You with and your my friend. Tongue. My friend. But what I'm going to do is. I'm going to drink this, and when my tummy gurgles in like an hour's time, yeah. I'm going to sit on his lap. Ah, just blast when one. You feel that warm, when you feel that warm, gooey sensation ah. between your legs, guess what? <laughs> Fucking latte to you. Oh, look, the rain's coming. <laughs> the rain's coming. Look, look at this. The rain's coming now. Look. Oh. oh, yeah, look at that. We might see a tornado if you keep that camera on there. Now, when, I, I, went what to, that would when be. I went to Venice for the first time in, in 90, I think it was 94, I, uh, my friend mm -hmm. took me to a, a coffee shop there. What was that? The coffee bean. Now, in New oh, York, yeah, coffee bean. remember that? In New York at the time, there were no coffee shops. No, you got, you got a cup of coffee at the deli. You know, that was it. And was that the one on Main Street, Main Street, Santa Monica? Coffee no, bean? I did go to that one. But the first one he took me to was right next to the Marina supermarket, right on oh, yeah. Lincoln. Down, down that way. On Lincoln, yeah. Because we came from the airport, so we pulled in there. We got it in coffee. I was like, holy mackerel. This is great. I probably had three of them. Little did I know, you know, they were putting milk in there. I didn't know it. It was just tasting so good, you know. I did almost, you I almost didn't make legs? it back to the hotel. I crapped my pants off. You, you go do legs at Gold's 10 minutes after that. Oh, terrible. But I'll tell you something. That, I had never tasted a coffee like that. It was, it was unbelievable. There's a good... Where that Lincoln Market was. Well, used to have, like, the Lincoln Market. I think I think of the right one. There was a Lincoln Market. Yeah. Then there was, like, a... 
a laundromat thing. Then there used to be El Polo Loco, where you could get yeah. like, taste like you're living in Spain. I had the nice chicken from there. That was good. Now Save On, Save On's drugstore. I went, remember, I got I was out of the off the plane and in that that supermarket there. It was called the I think at the time it was called the Marina Supermarket. They may have changed it to. A, I remember uh, the time. You know, you, you probably don't remember this, but I remember the time I was in um living in Venice and I went to the Marina del Rey to go shopping and Vons was on one side and I think it was Say Vons was on the other. Yeah. And I went walking in there one day, you know, because I'm I'm all covered up. You know, I like I like to stay covered up when I go in public. And I was just in these Say Vons and I looked down the aisle and who do I see? This big grotesque bodybuilder with veins and shit in a tank top and shorts. Guess who it was? You never guess who it was. Um, and I see this guy, and I see this guy walking about his veins and tank top. I said, "Oh fuck it, now look at him." I said, "I'm getting out of here, so no one thinks I'm a dickhead like him." <laughs> I I, I'm not. I'm not naming names, but I just don't want to say who it was. But you might know him. But he's, he wears a tank top and shorts all the time. He's strutting around the supermarket. I, no, I, said, I don't know who oh. you're talking about. I have no idea. Uh, I said, "I hope." I said, "I hope no one thinks I'm like that." I am still waiting for my. Still waiting for my RX shirt, by the way. Not like that one. That'd be uh, nice to get. All right. So I go into um, this into the Marina into the Marina supermarket, there. <laughs> and you see this short guy in there. <laughs> I see this you know. And who do I see? The first person I see, and I'm I, this is the first time I'm ever in California. I see Chuck Willery from the the dating oh. game. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and he actually said hello to me. I don't know why. He, maybe because he I, he worked out right at Gold's. Yeah, yeah. Who's the other guy that used to come and host? Uh, um, Clint, who was Clint that used to do the Arnold and that? What oh. TV show did he do? I don't. Was he on a TV show? Yeah, that Clint guy. Yeah, he was on one of those. Um, oh, I didn't know he was a talk type. show. He was like one of the talk show hosts. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's on. He was on one of those shows. Yeah, the guy that does the women's at the Arnold sometimes. Yeah, no, that. I know he, he's been doing it for the for the history of the the show. Clint, he's a cool guy. Yeah. I mean, got along real. I, he was a, a talk show guy. Yeah, he was, not sure it was talk show, but he was on. Um, He's One a pastor, isn't he? Or, or, or isn't he like a pastor too? No, I think I think he's more um, stringy spaghetti or something. I'm not sure if he's like a pastor or not. Maybe rice, maybe white rice. I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you say he's if you say he's pastor, I don't know. But he's it's your story. He, he's Dave. some kind of a religious, gay, you know, a preacher or something like that. Oh, wake up, wake up! Coffee's kicking in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the lactose is kicking in. Is what's going on? Going to your, your brain. I forgot. The, I was going to tell you. Oh, what's his name? Died the other day. Did you see that comedian Norm Macdonald? I saw that. Very sad. I don't, did, did you know, do you know how he died? I didn't say because I, I used to watch some cancer, of his videos. He was he's battling doing. cancer for ten years. I think. Yeah. You know. oh, okay. So I was watching some of his things he'd do from his apartment. He'd interview people while he's in lockdown with COVID, and yeah. he looked like he was getting a bit. He's like aging. Hey, Baxter, he's coming again. Hey, yeah, Baxter. here he is. Here's a big boy. Here's a big you, know, boy. you know what this is? Baxter, Baxter always comes at the end of the show. He's like, come on, guys. This is fucking bullshit. Let's he wants end, to go home. Let's end yeah, the show. Like, he's like my son. He's like, uh, can no, you please no, go think, home already? I think, exactly I think Tyler, right. takes Tyler, Tyler takes him off the leash and goes, Tyler takes him off the leash and says, Baxter, go over there. Yeah. Tell him to yeah. fucking end this shit. Yeah. I've had enough. Yeah. I've had enough. <laughs> he's giving me the eyes like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a poo. He's got a poo. Take him out quick. He's got oh, a cookie poo. Cookie Monster's not working. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah, but Tyler cookie just sends him in. Tyler's been, Tyler's been there all day doing Ask Dave and all these other interviews. Tyler's like, "Fuck Baxter, get in there. I want to go home. Come no, on, let's go." He, Baxter's got this bone, and he chews on this thing. It's like it's so loud. It's like I can't even hear myself talk. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an elk. Horn. Maybe, maybe, maybe he just wants to pick it with you. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. He's trying to compete with me. He's a little jealous. Of, of my, You're uh, welcome. I'm fucking good at it. This is, I only say this shit because people go, Lee tries so hard to be funny. I don't really. This stupidly just comes to my mind naturally. So when Dave <laughs> says he's got a bone and I say, well, he's got a bone to pick with Dave, it just comes naturally. I don't try hard to be this dumb. So it's a gift. Tyler likes his bike, the retro bike over there. This one over here. Yeah. Tell him it's nice. He, Tyler said you got a nice spot. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to report you, Nelly. He's taking he's taking photos of the ocean. Oh, tell him he's got to keep moving. Look at the seat. Tell him the you got to keep on moving. That bike. Keep moving. Keep moving. COVID. 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 The seat. The seat's like this thin, like a bit of plastic. It's like how the fuck would that be comfortable? They're not. You know, you got to wear like a cushioned, uh, like riding pants. You know. Yeah. Yeah. When I was cycling. I'll tell him that. When I was in my cycling stage, I, had, I have no fat on my butt whatsoever. So I had to wear those the most cushiony thing to sit on because it was like the seat would be like Here it comes. rip it into your butthole. 
it hurts so much. My friends from America said you have a nice bike. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know who you are? Like when you walk, when you walk along here? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Normally, some people say hello, Lee, and that. I was down at the store the other day where my wife works, and this guy, he's like, I just talked to my wife, and I went to leave. He's like, I went, oh, that's weird. Maybe because I just took my mask off and he got offended. But yeah. I hopped in the car. Next thing, my wife comes out and she's like this. So I get out the car, and the guy just fucking took off. He went running. I went, what the fuck's that? He get? She goes, she come into the store and goes, is that Lee Priest? And she goes, you mean my husband? He's like, that's your husband. Oh, and she boy. goes, do you want to meet him? He's like, no, no, I can't meet him. I can't meet him. <laughs> so when I got out the car, he says he has anxiety and panic attacks. So when he saw me get out the car, he fucking took off running up the road. Uh, <laughs> I have that impact on people, Dave. When it, maybe it was the fact that you didn't off. have, it could have been the fact that you had no mask on. That's why you ran away from you. Oh, 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 oh that or the boner I had in my pants. Either, uh, either one. It, or the cock in it your chases throat. people. Oh, hey, Hank, did I ever tell you this joke, Dave? I went to the doctor and I said to the doctor, I got this cock stuck in my brain. <laughs> not again. Hey, 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 what do you mean not again, Tyler? I'm a, I'm a multiple <laughs> orgasm. Gasma. Just, <laughs> we'll go through it again. <laughs> but it's best if you do that. Do that joke at a party. Just put a bit of whipped cream in your mouth. Uh, it gets a bit more effect. Uh, yeah, and then sure. you just go. <laughs> <laughs> You did it pretty That's well. Knowing that you, the weren't gonna, you must do that joke a lot because you weren't really prepared for it, and you, you did it pretty well. Yeah, I did not see it coming. Now it's not it's not that I do it a lot, Dave. They say practice makes perfect, uh, and you know, I didn't I I didn't get these big forearms just watching uh, TV. You know, well, I, I was watching TV. Depends what I was watching on the TV. How's Steve doing up there on the shelf? He's looking a bit. What's wrong? Is Steve falling over or what? Oh, he's looking a bit bent out of shape yeah, or something. He's, he's up, doing Pilates. <laughs> he's uh, enjoying Lee Priest right now. You know, that's his favorite body. We'll have to bring Steve out. We'll have to bring, I, I still reckon you should try and get Steve on to do an interview. I think that would be good. I don't think he'll do it. And, and as you said on the... I have a better show, chance of getting be Hattie Shupin on than, than Steve, I think. <laughs> well, we can get Hardy Shupin on when we talk about the stock market and the price of oil. Oh, fuck, there we go. <laughs> fuck, now we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> Sure. Now, we should get on um, John, as you said, John interview on Betty Weeder. That would be a great interview. I Don't you know Betty Weeder? Didn't you meet her? A couple of no, I met her a few. I met her a few times, yeah. But, yeah, she's nice. But, yeah. Maybe you I don't think you just said who's Lee Priest now. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll start off with this joke. Did you, hey, did, Betty Weeder. Yeah, I, don't I went to the doctor. Joke. Did, you, did you see the movie, the Quentin, I don't know if you told me about it, the Quentin Tarantino movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah, I liked that one. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, Brad Pitt in it. That was really good, right? Yeah, I liked it, yeah. I watched a good movie the other day. Um, yeah, it was that good, I can't remember the name, called Voyeurs. It wasn't bad. A good twist in the end of it. So if you watch a movie called Voyeurs, and there's one called Malignant, if you like horror movies. Okay. It's about, you know, the guy that did the Saw movies? Mm-hmm. He did this one called Malignant. It's pretty good. Yeah. Do they have people like... Uh Cutting off guys' cocks and feeding it to them, like uh, no, it's about like, a girl, and she's got a girl that had this brother who was sort of on the back of her, like a tumor type thing, and they sort of removed him, but he's inside the back of her skull, and he sort of comes out of her skull, and she has to walk backwards because he takes over her body and he chops people up and stabs them. And, uh, yeah, I'm not into those movies. I get, I get like a bad. Well, maybe your son wants to watch it. You know, why be yeah. a party pooper? I'm obsessed. No, with, but is, I, I love is science good. fiction movies. I'm, I'm really into the, and I've been. I've, I have to commend a lot of these, like Amazon, Netflix, doing their own programming. I, I really like the series that they do. These Dave, things. Dave, that's wow. because they're good at it. Then you see the lunar landing, fucking Hollywood. <laughs> they're good at science fiction movies. Just ask Jimmy. It's all fucking staged. That's right. Who fucking stood there, Dave? The fucking here. Here's the fucking. Apollo fucking lunar lander and it's taken off. Who's fucking standing there filming it while it's fucking going off into the air? Then you got that other dickhead, as Jimmy says, circling around for three fucking days up there in the capsule and they don't show it redocking and shit, do they? And then they showed where the lunar lander landed. Jimmy will know this too. The feet of the thing when it landed on the moon, there's no dust on it. If it landed on the moon in the dust, it would have gone under the legs of the lunar lander. But it was crystal clean. It was clean. clean. It was like and then you saw half of it. It looked like it was made with aluminium fucking foil. It's like, how the fuck does that fucking get off there and then go back there? And then uh, I, I, with the lunar landing, I agree with Jimmy. It was fucking bullshit. Yeah, you don't see. Oh, you and do if you agree with and if, Yeah, if you don't believe me, watch Capricorn 1. That's but, right. Yes, yeah, so it's like, 
Yes, there's a good. So, actually, so good you think the, the, Ru- the, the Russians and the U.S. faked it? We both faked it, and we well, were cahoots. I don't know. Yeah, I think they'll both trying to get there, and the Americans hate losing, so the Americans just said, "Oh fuck it, just get to the sound studio and fucking do it." There's this actual TV show on. I'm gonna find. So you think it. we I'll faked it, and then the Russians it. really got there? They're like, "Holy shit, this was fucking a lot harder than we thought." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because they reckon, as Jimmy says, they reckon all those cosmic rays and the sun and the heat and shit you'd fucking be cooked. And I've always said too, if we went there, then why haven't we gone back? Why haven't we built a space station on the fucking moon? That way, if you ever want to go to Mars, you're going to have your little shit there and just take off from the moon. You need less propulsion to leave the fucking well, moon. You know, I could get a rubber band and go, boom. I was reading, I don't know who sent it to me. Someone sent me that they, they're finding now that the um, the corona that surrounds the Earth, which they- Corona? Which, which Jimmy, which, no, not coronavirus, but it's like a, it's like a, almost <laughs> like a, like a bubble around us of atmosphere, right? They found, you know, that yep. we think that Jimmy's like, that's the dome, right? That we live in, that we can't go beyond. Supposedly, it, watched, extends, watched, it, extends, dome. supposedly it extends beyond the moon. Now, granted, oh. if you're in the space between the Earth and the moon, there's not enough oxygen there to breathe. But it's not necessarily, you're still within the confines of this, of this, this corona that, that surrounds the Earth and shields it. So the moon is inside of that. So it's technically, according to what they were saying, no man has really left has ever gone outside of the atmosphere of the Earth. So maybe Jimmy is right. Maybe we are in a, in a fucking bubble. If you get lost between the moon and New York City, <laughs> the best yeah, that Now, you we're, can now do. the show content's dramatic. It's actually starting. It's actually starting to rain here. Hey, another dickhead who gets me to laugh. Hey, hey, dickhead, what did you tell me today's weather was going to be? Partly sunny with 50%. no fucking rain. What, what the fuck's this? It's fucking raining on me. You're fucking useless, that coffee in the weather. <laughs> Jesus, oh, fucking hell. The, the people I got to hang with, look. Look, just get, get on that spaceship, head up to that asteroid, and uh, start fucking drilling, Lee. Friends, we're acquaintances. What's your name again? Sam. Sam. Sam here that got me this coffee. Is that your name today, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually from Sydney. He shouldn't be here. Are you outside your bubble? Did, yeah, I think he, oh, he, he, he went past the, uh, the zone. How did he get, what did he sneak no, through? He, He's, he's, who he works for has an office up here, so oh. technically he's allowed to be up. It's fucking raining on me now. Thanks, mate, for your weather report. Jesus All right, Christ. let's wrap this up, Lee. Uh, I appreciate you uh, joining us from the beautiful, you know, uh, I guess you could say, where are you uh, exactly? What is this ocean? I'm, well, I'd say I'm down under. If I'm like Jimmy, I've got to turn my camera over, but I'd have to be upside down. This is the Pacific Ocean. So if we go this way. Yeah. I think California's over there. Fucking that dickhead Newsom got in again. God knows how. But he's over there somewhere where the rain is falling. Right. And there's the sun up there. there. But so that's the Pacific Ocean. And I think the ice walls hold all that in somewhere. What, what's that little bay called over there by the towers, by the, uh, the light tower? What is that called? Uh, what is it? This is Nobby's Beach. This is Nobby's Beach. Okay. If you go that way, you get Newcastle Beach. Right. On the other side, that, that's where the ships come in. This is like one of the biggest coal ports in Australia where they – get all the coal. They come in there. There's no ships today, which is a shame because they normally come in. On the other side is Stockton Beach. That's where the Great Whites, which is weird because the Great Whites breed over there, but we never have any shark attacks here. Well, that's because they stay on their so side. They, must, they stay in their neighborhood, Lee. Right? You know, plus I'm white. Plus I'm white. White <laughs> is right. We don't attack white meat. So they just swim out here. They go down the coast and look for people down there. Yeah. Well, yeah, don't so get, that's it. Don't and get up, eaten and up by here any on sharks. The hill, don't swallow up any there on the hill. See up here, that's Fort Scratchley. You can't see, but there's a fort up there with cannons. Back yeah. in the day, they fired the cannons at some Japanese submarines oh, really? that were coming in over hmm. here. Interesting. How do submarines, I have to ask Jimmy about submarines with the ocean and the ice wall. Does the ice wall go down under? Does a submarine like hit the ice wall? Ice wall like Lee, the of course it does. Fucking... It goes right to the, 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 it goes to the center of oh, the earth. It's... Oh, fuck, I'm getting wet out here. Jesus. Thanks for your weather report, All right. mate. I got I to gotta wrap this up. I love you, Lee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. Stay dry. I'm off, I'm off to NASA. I got to go report yeah. on whatever. Go, drill, go drill some asteroids. And that video I made for Jimmy, it was just me discussing the flat earth theories and stuff. And I had that song somewhere out there playing in the background. I'm glad we didn't play it. We would have been demonetized. All right. Well, we- have a safe ride back. We love you. I'll talk to you next week. I'm in Australia. I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> I might get carjacked. I got to go. I might get look, carjacked. Look 